Vilnius itself is a city of many different religions. Today, well, it's not the biggest capital of Europe, just a typical Eastern European capital. Uh, but just a few hundred years ago, it was a capital of one of the biggest states in Europe, which extended through all what is nowadays Ukraine and Belarus, modern tiny Lithuania, and big parts of Russia. And that's why the city is decorated with an enormous amount of religious buildings, usually very uh, expensive buildings, uh, mostly 17th, 18th century. And among them, uh, a very interesting one is the cathedral itself, the Catholic Cathedral of Vilnius, which was built at the end of 18th century. It's one of the few examples in Europe where everywhere you would have a pagan temple which was turned into a Christian church. In our cathedral, first it was a pagan temple, then it was a Christian church, and again a pagan temple, and then again a Christian church. So history is a little bit different, and we are the last pagans of Europe. Lithuania became Christian only in 1387. And uh, the cathedral itself is 18th century, built by a Lithuanian architect, because all of us here were either Italians or Germans. And uh, the cathedral has uh, parts also from earlier times, from 17th century. I uh, mean, it's classicist, but it has Baroque and a little bit of Gothic inside. And it's a burial place of St. Casimir, Lithuanian's national saint.